What's up mga kalafti? It's me, Paul. Hi, it's me, Roland. And welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. And for today's video, pag-uusapan natin ang aming personal topic for our Miss Universe 2019 Top 10. So, maaga pa. I know maaga pa for for the, for the prediction, but uh, marami na kasi ding mga delegates na na nakronahan. Nakronahan this uh, year. And we as have, of this moment, we have 28, 28 candidates po for Miss Universe, Universe confirmed. And it's para mabigyan lang din kayo ng uh, mga updates about updates, sa mga yes. candidates natin. So, we have our early hot picks for yes. the month of June. At hindi po ibig sabihin nito eh, ito na yung final prediction namin for our Miss Universe. Kasi marami pang mga delegates na hindi pa nag-confirm. A lot more confirm. countries are still yet to yes. crown their candidates for Miss Universe like South Africa, Venezuela, yes. Thailand, and many more. A few moments later. At uh, bago po kami mag-proceed sa aming uh, personal top 10 for this uh, Miss Universe 2019, uh, sa mga gustong mag-subscribe sa mga hindi pa uh, subscriber, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel that is PC Davao and hit yun rin yung notification bell katabi ng subscribe button para ma-update kayo sa every upload namin. 2,000 years later. So, ngayon po, uh, habang tumatagal, mas lalong umiinit ang labanan. Yes. Kasi nakurodahan na po ang pambato ng Mexico. Maroon na po din sa... Panama. Panama, Puerto Rico. USA, Puerto Rico. At saka Philippines. And sila po yung mga malalakas Front na bansa. Runners. Mga powerhouse countries po yes. pagdating sa Miss Universe. So, habang tumatagal po, lalo pong umiinit ang labanan. And Mas of course, for the Philippines, we're aiming for back-to-back -back po. Yes. So, yun po, shots. So, here is my personal top 10 for this uh, edition, for June edition for Miss Universe 2019. For my top 10, I have Albania, si Cindy Marina. Si Cindy Bay is uh, very stunning. Ang ganda-ganda niya sa photo shoots sa mga uh, photos na lumalabas sa social media and gusto gusto ko yung crown nila kasi parang Mickey Moto crown na talaga parang kiniklaim na nila na uh, sila yung mananalo but um, <clears throat> nakukulangan na ako doon sa mga interviews hindi wala pa ako masyadong nakikita or napapanood na interview masyado ni Miss Albania ni Cindy uh, Marina and uh, I know na uh, mga behind sa kanya, sa kanya yung group niya is I know uh, paghandaan nila ang Miss Universe 2019 and for my top 9 I have si Miss Indonesia si Fred Frederica Alexis Call so um, nung nakita ko siya during the coronation night sa Miss uh, Putiri Putiri Indonesia um, hindi naman din siya yung personal bet ko but uh, after yung manalo, yung mga press con, yung mga events na napuntahan niya, um, I know na um, ano, malaki ang chance ng Indonesia na makapasok sa semifinals or maybe sa top 6 or top 3. And for my top 8, I have si Sofia Aragon, which is in Mexico. And uh, actually, isa, sa, isa siya sa mga uh, final prediction ko sa Miss Mexico. So, ililink ko sa baba yung um, prediction ko din sa Miss Mexico. So, isa siya sa top 6 ko. And I'm so happy na siya yung mag-represent ng uh, Mexico this uh, year for Miss Universe. Ayan. And for my top 7, I have Miss Mary Elizer, si Miss Panama. Which is, kanina lang na nakita ko yung bio niya. She is uh, uh, born in New Delhi, India. Uh, four years old, her parents moved here in the Philippines, especially here in Davao, sa amin. I'm, hindi sa amin sa ano, pero sa Davao City. So, uh, marunong siya mag-Tagalog, mag-Hindi um, and Portuguese. So, six years old, nag-move na sila uh, back sa Panama and they uh, lived there. No? So, she studied at Balboa Academy. So, um, I think uh, yung course niya is, I mean, yung natapos is dalawang course. Iba. So, yung napaka-impressive. Maganda din siya. She reminds me of some beauty queen. I don't know kung from what country, pero 
ayan, parang may beauty queen factor na siya sa akin. So, ayun. And for my top 6, I have Miss Vietnam, si Wang Toy. So, she is a, Viet a Vietnamese model and she won uh, a next, uh, Vietnamese Next Top Model Cycle 2. So, sa postura pala niya sa tindig, I think uh, she has what it takes to, to be a Miss Universe kasi nga model siya. She has this um, prestige uh, title na rin. So, parang she can. Gusto ko lang marinig yung mga other interviews niya sa other mga social media accounts. Next, and uh, for my top 5, I have Chesley Chris, Miss USA. So, si Chesley Chris, uh, although alam na natin na matalino siya, she is a, a lawyer. Eh, nakikita ko rin siya sa mga other gatherings na Miss USA and Miss Universe kasama si Katriona Gray. And very impressed naman din ako sa mga, sa mga uh, naging interviews niya and answers. Yan. And for my top 4, I have Miss Puerto Rico, Madison Anderson. Uh, sa mga hindi nakaalam, si Madison Anderson is uh, um, contender na rin sa Miss Grand International 20... 16. 16, which is uh, kasama niya si uh, sino ba yung sa Philippines? Si Cole Nicole Cordovez. Ayan, first runner-up siya. Siya is fifth run, uh, fourth runner-up. Third? I don't know. Uh, para basta ganun, may, may <laughs> ano siya, may, may slot siya doon sa Miss Grand International. And for my top three is Miss Philippines Gazini Ganados. Si Gazini uh, every time or nagpaparaprogress siya, siya nakikita ko yung eagerness niya, yung piging feisty, and very ganda ng story niya. We all know that uh, hindi pa niya namit ang father niya. And nung, uh, kung nakita niyo, napanood niya sa TV, nung nag-guest siya sa t uh, Boy Abunda na show, uh, yung TWBA, is parang, parang, na parang sinabihan siya ni Tito Boy. May, may isa nag-comment na parang, uh, maganda ka lang dahil, uh, may makeup ka, tapos sinabi niya ka dito boy na burahin natin in front of everyone, so uh, nagtangga siya ng foundation, ng makeup niya and she's very pretty pa din, super ganda pa rin niya, and I like I like parang facing ng Miss, I mean, ng Pilipinas na pinapadala ng Miss Universe uh, na, na natin ng Miss Universe kasi from uh, from Pia to Maxine to Rachel to uh, Katrina and now for Gazzini, parang iba-iba siya, hindi siya same Si, uh, pare pareho ng taste now and for my top 2 I have si Gabriela Tafur Miss Colombia though hindi, hindi ko pa rin masyadong nakita yung mga videos niya uh, mga interviews uh, though sa beauty and body naman hindi naman natin pagkakaila na ang Miss Colombia talaga is sa mga uh, magagandang uh, na, nagbibigay ng magandang product sa Miss Universe. So, si Gabrieta Four, uh, I know na na babakapan siya ng kanyang mga tao sa likod and they will give a good fight. We all know that. And, for my number one for this edition, I have Julia Horta from Brazil. Si Julia Horta, she's different sa lahat nga nabanggit ko. She's um, short hair. Hindi na rin siya bago sa mga beauty pageant competition because ang dami na rin niyang sinalihan na contest and wala, ang ganda-ganda ng katawan niya, ang ganda ng postura niya, ang ganda ng tindig, ang ganda ng mukha, very angelic face na alam mo yung pwede siya talagang uh, makoronahan this year. So, that is my top 10 Miss Universe 2019 for this June edition. And for my top 10 naman for this month of June edition, on my 10th place, I have Panama. Mer Eliezer and one thing about her is she lived in the Philippines for two years yes. then they migrated to Panama especially in Davao City they live in Davao City so my, for my top nine I got Vietnam Huang Tui uh, she is a, a super model and nakita ko ang isang video niya and I like her passerella next is uh, Sri Lanka Pradita Atikari well she can speak English and she looks gorgeous and I like I like her and I believe that she will place in the semis because of her personality. She's indeed gorgeous. And I got Indonesia Frederica Kuhl, which happens to I'm sorry, which happens to be a half uh, Australian then. Mm -hmm. And Frederica can communicate well in English. 
and I guess it's the time for Indonesia to place higher in Miss Universe on my uh, on my own uh, belief. Next, as I got Colombia, Gabriela Tapur, and Gabriela Tapur, when I see uh, every time I see her, she reminds me of Paulina Vega, and I think uh, Colombia will be back on track this coming Miss Universe 2019 with Gabriela Tapur and I got a USA Chesley Christ and we cannot deny the fact that Chesley Christ is very articulate because she is an attorney uh, medyo ano mabigat yung ano niya, profile niya and next is uh, Mexico uh, Sofia Aragon she is a uh, Mexican uh, beauty queen she is a uh, model and she reminds me of Jimena Navarrete, the winner okay. of Miss Universe 2010. Uh, yes, Jimena Navarrete. Next is I got on the third place Puerto Rico, which is Madison. Uh, who is Madison Anderson? And yun, yun nga na mention na, na she participated and she she got uh, placed on the top five in top five at Miss Grand, Grand International, International 2016. And yes, I think that Madison Anderson will give a good fight bearing the name of Puerto Rico and for my second place I have Brazil Julia Orta uh, the moment I saw Julia while well, I told to myself that Brazil is back on track na naman. and I think that Julia is one of the strongest contenders for the crown and for my top one of course uh, for this moment I got Philippines who is Gazzini Ganados and I think that we still have a, a strong chance to win back to back with Gazzini Ganados with her beauty uh, with her pasarela and in all fairness nag improve ng kanyang communication skills so high hopes for the Philippines to win back to back and good luck to all the girls at kung may mga personal bets kayo please do comment po sa comment box section natin <clears throat> and uh, babasahin namin yan and uh, please uh, continue pa rin watching our videos may mga videos kami sa baba so, hanapin nyo lang sa uh, playlist namin or sa videos namin sa channel namin, this PC Davao. So, uh, maraming 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 salamat Thank sa inyo you. guys. And yeah, see you soon!